Okay. Okay. <laughs> Wait, let me go get mine. Yeah, just go on and Well, stand sure. next to your partner here. Yes. We'll put you in the middle. Okay, there we go. There you go. I think we're going to have to crunch in quite a bit. Oh. Come on, down front. Down front. <laughs> Thanks. You're short. Oh, there we are. Yeah. We're all get in there. Big old Joey scene. Look at all them Joey's. momentum in a 24 hour period such as every six hours it should rotate into a different direction right now it's going north and south well in about six hours it should be going east and west now how we got this pendulum is a group of high school students came down for a regional science fair that was held here in the caverns they built it for us and gave it to us for a souvenir now you guys should know high school students they do make mistakes wish they didn't make two of them and the first one was the hitch on the ceiling right here it was made out of cast iron. Well, ladies and gentlemen, with the high humidity in this cave, that cast iron rusted right up that first week. Now, the second mistake was the weight in the ball. This ball here is only, excuse me, 50 pounds. Well, in order for it to work, it has to at least weigh 825 pounds. So therefore, this pendulum is showing us absolutely nothing at all. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys are wondering why we still have this, and there are a few good reasons. The first one is, it's one out of 16 in the entire world. The second one is, it's the only one out of 16 that was constructed underground. And the third one is, it's the only one out of 16 that doesn't work. <laughs> well, we like it and we're going to keep it. There's no any questions. All right, let's just make gunpowder in this room until a group called the Kamash Rally Regulars came in, took over the plant, and killed everybody inside. Now this group was not very important as one whole. There's only a few certain people who was. And their names was Bob and Cole Younger, Frank Golden, Jesse James, and his older brother Alexander Frank James. And that's when they found out about the cave. Now you guys, please follow Mike. Hey, Jesse was the James, and his four-year-older brother Alexander Frank James. Now, like I was saying, the two tour guides and Mr. Dill stumbled into an anvil shaped rock. And that is right behind them. And this is what we call the rock. Now, the purpose of the rock was two brothers divided their loot on top of the rock right before they escaped the underground river, sitting right over here. Now, whenever you guys are all done with the day, follow the hood over here, follow my. I'm 
Shot, dude. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. 